The Schleyer virus. Sounds pretty scary, you may have never heard of it before, but more scary than the virus itself is just how widespread it is across Mac devices, and what's really surprising is how it's spread. So stick around and you'll be able to avoid viruses like this going forward in this video. Now, you've probably heard the whole idea that, oh, Macs don't get viruses. That just isn't true, obviously, though in the past, it was much more rare for a Mac to get a virus because they had a much smaller market share than Windows, so virus creators simply didn't make any viruses for it because it wasn't worth it. These days, Macs are less targeted than Windows devices, but that doesn't mean that they are somehow virus-proof. In fact, according to a recent report by the antivirus company Kaspersky, one Trojan called the Schleyer has infected around 10% of all Macs they monitor, and it accounts for nearly a third of all the infections on Macs, which is absolutely insane. I mean, if you're using a Mac right now, there's a slight chance yours is infected right now. So you might be thinking, well, if this virus is so widespread, it must be super sophisticated and dangerous, but that's not really the case. In fact, it's apparently not even that sophisticated with some calling it garden variety malware, which kind of makes sense because if it was super serious and destructive, it would probably get a lot more attention and people would know to look for it. So what exactly does this virus do? Well, it infects users by usually convincing people to install a fake Adobe Flash update. And the payload is often just some kind of adware, which makes money by inserting spammy ads onto sites you visit. But the most interesting part about the virus is really how it's distributed. You see, the virus creators basically created an affiliate program. Yes, like instead of a legitimate business that have affiliate programs for selling real products like Amazon has, for example, this virus actually pays shady people who distribute links around the web. Then when someone is infected, whoever put the link gets a pay to fee. According to Kaspersky, they've counted over 1,000 domains distributing it, but that also includes places like YouTube video descriptions and even Wikipedia page reference links. Apparently in many of these cases, a sketchy person will find legitimate links that go to expired domains, then buy up the domains to redirect to the virus. Another common type of site it's found on are those claiming to have like TV episodes and movies to stream, but then when you go to actually try to watch, oh no, it requires you to install an Adobe update, which then infects you. Now, one thing to point out is the Schleyer Trojan itself is basically just a delivery mechanism, and the payload itself, meaning the actual malware it installs, could be one of several. And in basically all of these cases, it's been adware. So for example, once installed, it will track searches you make on Google, then insert its own links into the results. If you're curious about the details, most recently, the payload Schleyer has been installing is adware called Simply or Kimply, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And with this, when you go to install the fake update, it will also attempt to install a malicious Safari extension. Mac OS will show a warning about this, of course, but here's the tricky part. During the installation, the virus will generate a pop-up that overlays over the warning saying something like installation complete, and then when you click on that, it somehow makes it click through to ignore the max warning. Then, like I said, the malicious extension will change the content and links and also install a trusted encryption certificate so it can even intercept encrypted HTTPS traffic. So basically like a man in the middle attack. And other than that, it's pretty hidden. So unless you become suspicious of the links it inserts, you probably probably won't even know you're infected. Of course, having antivirus software would hopefully be able to detect and remove it. What's especially concerning with this virus, at least I think, is that the attack vector is basically the oldest trick in the book. Those fake streaming websites requiring a video player or special codec or whatever are practically as old as the internet itself. So the fact that people are still falling for it is really surprising. And this Schleyer virus itself is not even new. It's been around for like two years now. As for how to protect against it, I mean, obviously you need to have have some common sense. If you're on some sketchy website trying to view bootleg TV streams and you get a pop-up to install anything, that should be the biggest red flag ever. Also realize that Adobe Flash is rarely used by anything anymore and is being deprecated by nearly all web browsers anyway. And of course, you should probably have some form of antivirus installed on Windows. For many people, just having the built-in Windows Defender is okay as long as you exercise common sense. But if you recognize yourself as 
not very good with computers, that's fine. You should probably have something a bit more robust in terms of antivirus. On Mac, it was my understanding that it does have built-in antivirus functionality, but apparently it's not very good. Otherwise we wouldn't have 10% of Macs being infected with such a rudimentary virus. So it seems like going with a paid option is probably the best option. Another important thing to point out is this virus actually requires the user to download and install it. It's not like a drive-by attack. So if you are just extra suspicious about what you download and install, specifically for software you didn't actually seek out, you should be mostly fine. But if any website tells you to install some software, even something you're familiar with like Adobe Flash, then if anything, just go to the actual Adobe website for yourself, don't download it from the website. But remember, at this point, anything requiring an Adobe Flash update is probably a scam anyway. As for how to remove it, that's beyond the scope of this video, you'll just have to look that up yourself or get a decent antivirus that can handle it for you. In any case though, at least now you do know that just because you have a Mac doesn't mean you can throw caution to the wind without a chance of getting a virus. So if you guys wanna keep watching, next I'd recommend a video where I talk about why so many people hate Windows 10 and why I don't think it's justified, especially important considering Windows 7 has reached its end of life. So I'll put that link right here, you can just click on and I'll see you in the next video.